Alright, hello guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to be bringing you my upcoming pattern forecast video here for the rest of August. I'm actually going to break it down into three segments here. But before I get started with this video though, I would ask you to subscribe if you do like weather related content. Let's get right into it. Now, looking at our map here, you can see that I did bring a updated map. If You might have noticed, you might not have, it depends on how many videos you watch probably. But I want to get feedback on this new map. I've added highways and I've added Canada and Mexico, even though they won't have colors on them, they are there. That's a lot of complaints that I got before, uh, but it is more high definition and it, I think it does look better. So let me know what you think of that. Now, this map right here is for the 2nd through the 8th of August here, so kind of the next week. And you can see we're expecting warm conditions there for those two orange areas from Idaho, Montana, into North Dakota and Minnesota. And then one area there for some of the four corner states, Texas and Southern California as well. Uh, general yellow shade means slightly above average temperatures there for much of the western United States and then also New England states there as well. We do have colder temperatures there for the southern United States, southeastern United States, south central United States, as well as Nebraska, Kansas, Missouri, Iowa, and South Dakota, as well as into some of the mid-Atlantic states like North Carolina, Virginia, West Virginia, and a little bit of Florida there as well. Uh, you might have remembered that I made a video that was calling for colder than average conditions for the beginning of August, and this is kind of the effects that we're feeling here. So you can see that has verified as we are seeing below average temperatures for a lot of the eastern United States these first few days of August. Now moving on to the middle portion of August, so this is going to be from the 8th through the 20th, you can see we do have two areas of above average temperatures or orange shades, so that's going to be kind of your moderate chance at above average temperatures. One there for California and then one there for Texas as well, uh, but generally orange for extreme southern United States in the east and then basically most of the western United States east or west of the Rockies, sorry. And then we have below average temperatures there from, or slightly below average temperatures from Montana down through into the Dakotas, Nebraska, Kansas, Missouri, into Tennessee, Virginia, and up the coast there from that point into New England. We also have a medium shade of blue there for the Dakotas, Minnesota, Iowa, the Great Lakes states, Indiana, Illinois, Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York, Vermont, New Hampshire. All of these areas will be feeling quite cold, and you'll remember that I did make a video kind of calling for a big cooldown for the middle portion of August, and this is kind of that also being verified, as I expect to see this after the 8th, especially in the earlier portion of the 8th through the 20th, so the 8th through maybe the... 15th especially, the 20th is going to start tapering off, but in general, over that time period, this is the type of conditions you can expect to feel throughout the United States. Now, to end things off, the 20th through the 31st of August, this is the conditions we can expect. Warmer than average conditions there for the entire eastern United States from the Dakotas eastward, and then you can see there's an orange shade there for Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, New Mexico, as well as or Arkansas and Louisiana, we're, we're expecting a moderate chance at above, above average temperatures, as well as uh, New Mexico, Arizona, California, we're expecting slightly above average temperatures for those regions. And we are expecting slightly below average conditions there for Washington, Oregon, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Utah, and a little bit of Colorado there as well. It's going to be an interesting shakeup if we do see these things verify towards the end of August. Obviously, this third one is going to be the least likely to verify as it is the longest range, the first one being the most likely, and then the middle one being kind of in between. So as obviously we get into longer and longer range, there's less and less chance of it being correct. Only by slight, uh, we do have a pretty decent, you know, track record with the seasonal and monthly forecast. So we are able to forecast 30 days out plus. So this wouldn't be crazy if we did get this one right. And we do pretty consistently get things like this right in general. Obviously it won't look exactly like this, but it will generally, uh, this will, you know, you won't feel that this was completely wrong. Most likely. Anyway, guys, I hope you really, really enjoyed this video and I hope that you do hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in the next one. Have a great day guys. Have a great August.